Two Coastal Carolina University graduates are sprucing up South Carolina cities one mural at a time. WMBF News morning anchor Lauren Korn and photojournalist George Hansen shadowed the two women who turned their passion into profit. Here's this week's edition of This is Carolina. From matching paint to matching teal sneakers and a nail polish. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mine are messed up now. You never know these two artists started out as strangers. Did both y'all go to CCU? We did, yeah. actually. But you didn't know each other. Oh. No. <laughs> Christine Crawford studied marketing and graduated in 2013, while Allie Dunavant studied studio art, graduating in 2014. The two later studying in Columbia, but their paintbrushes never overlapped until they followed each other on Instagram. One of my professors, that's a graphic design professor at uh, USC, he was like, oh, you should follow this girl, Allie. She's been doing murals. And I was like, oh, I love doing murals. The rest is history. We just built a relationship off of this one mural that she needed help with in Hilton Head. The two turning their collaborations into their company, Girls Who Paint Murals, mixing their talents into works of art. Since we have two separate styles, we can combine them and they'll make such a unique design or we can give them, you know, something if they want something text-based or if they want something more traditional and it just kind of works out for the best, honestly. <laughs> Girls Who Paint Murals is snatching of buildings all across South Carolina, including this pup pictured outside Cooper's Tavern in Little River. I'll wait till you're done with that letter. But the women say painting Airbnbs are where it's at. That kind of seems to be a trend right now of people wanting their Airbnbs or short-term rentals to stand out. You know, when people are scrolling through photos trying to find something, um, everybody kind of wants that like Instagrammable like selfie moment. Denevant and Crawford wrapping up their latest Airbnb, donning their teal logoed shirts and spattered paint pants as they reach for the sky to put the finishing touches and detailed dimensions on their masterpiece in North Myrtle Beach. I didn't even realize I'd have my shoes off today or I would have worn cooler socks. For them, a full circle moment. I love it. I love being back here, first of all, you know, because I'm from this area, so it's great to see my artwork and my career spread this direction. We're trying to get to more places, so especially coming back here to where, like, Kind of like both of our roots were when growing up, it's, it's amazing. The women say it's not always easy blending a business with brushes. The water always turns fun colors. A process they've learned to perfect over the years. We have such a strong like business component to it, like with our contracts, our processes we have in place, our timelines. From their print mock-ups to their paintings, they say anyone who has a passion to be their own boss now is the best time to start. And I really do think it's like taking that leap and doing the sink or swim thing. Yeah, um, it's scary, of, but yeah. it's worth it. <laughs> That's literally the only way to do it. I know some people are always like, oh, you know, make it your side hustle and then let that grow. And I completely disagree. I think it's just <laughs> fully ripping the bandaid off and committing to, to doing it. If you have good news to share, email goodnews at WMBFnews.com or message me on Facebook. In studio, Lauren Korn, WMBF News.